Om Shanti. Today is the 340th day of God's blessing where God, Father, Supreme Father again talks to us about how to be soul conscious, how to establish our mind and focus on ourselves as a point and then become double light. Let's understand that. says may you become double light and fly in the flying stage by establishing by stabilizing yourself in a point form let's get into the details Baba says constantly keep in your awareness that you are the stars of the father's eyes now Godfather is incorporeal he doesn't come into birth or death he is beyond happiness and sorrow he doesn't have any rule just like we human beings have the physical body and rule over people. He doesn't have any rule, doesn't come into any kind of rule, but still he is above all souls. So God says that I don't have physical eyes, but you can come in my mind's eye and become a star of my eye. Just like a physical father would say, this child, this son of mine is like a star in my eyes. That means he's doing all the things which are good for me, for my name and for the sake of the family. That's why he comes in my eyes, just like a star. So Supreme Father also says the same thing. Stars of the eyes means only points can be in the eyes, right? In a physical eye too, you can't have a huge thing in your eye, right? Only a glitter which you see when you're happy. You see a glitter in somebody's eyes and that glitter reflects just like a star. So God says you can't have a very big thing seen in eyes but you can see a glitter in somebody's eyes so same way the speciality of seeing with the eyes is with points so stay in a point form point form me soul conscious for this is the way to fly in the flying stage when we are soul conscious we know that our role is fixed every soul on this earth which is a point sitting at the center of the forehead where we put a bindi or a tikka that's also a symbol of that I am a soul. Also denotes that every soul has got their fixed path. The whole world is revolving around soul consciousness. That means every soul is playing their own part, whether they know it or they don't know it. So it's all fixed. So we should look at their part, look at our own part in the drama as a detached observer instead of getting over the feeling or emotions or questioning why, when what where how did this happen why didn't they do this they should have listened to me everything is fixed so we can push things around we can pressure people around so stay in a point form for this is the way to fly in a flying stage that means to feel lighter in our mind perform every action as a point and you will remain light but if we think of ourselves as a body then every action we perform would be through selfishness through ego through jealousy or through any, any negative emotion and that makes us more heavier so God says, perform every action as a point. That means by being soul conscious and you will remain light. Do not have the habit of carrying any type of burden. Give it all to whom? To Supreme Father. Burden means what? I'll change this person. I'll make sure that that person listens to me. Or these things should not happen like this. They should be done like this. Forcing things around, throwing a weight around, pushing people around, using anger, using frustration to get things done. God says don't use that burden instead of saying mine say yours that means godfathers you make me do things in a polite respectful honest humble manner that means if i think of everything as mine i would rather become burdened and i would get angry you make you would get angry you would use the wrong ways but when we say it's all yours then we'll use godly values and virtues to get that work done and you will become double light then god says you will then not have any burden in your self-progress or in the task of world service so it won't feel like i'm doing my service or i'm i'm giving the knowledge or i'm the one who's explaining things to other people god says no if you think of it as god's work then you'll remain light you won't have any burden you can won't get frustrated you won't push people around to get things done and it becomes lighter with this Om Shanti Om Shanti